Welcome back. We've discovered that um, directing the steam into the pipes in the water brings this growth along the surface of the water, which is probably the life form attracted to heat that Asher was talking about. How can we use that, though? Well, we can, we can um, direct where it's going using the controls. So let's switch this one to left instead of right, which should bring it all the way to the land. Yep. And we can actually walk on this stuff. Must be pretty strong. Nothing we can do with that, though. However, maybe we can use it to get to the other side. Because there's also this pipe, which we haven't used yet. So, maybe we can figure out how to make... Oh. And the steam effect just expired. So maybe we can figure out how to make a bridge um, to the other side. Well, the grove covered this area from the right hand pipe and it seems that we can make it go like this. That would work because then we could um, step over on this side and get over there. Which means that we would need to switch the controls on the left side to left, right, and left. In case you um, can't figure that out just by looking at it from here, you can also use the diagram in the hut, which may be a bit clearer. Personally, I think it's pretty much visible where the pipes lead just by looking at it. But we're going to need more heat in order to execute this little scheme. So, let's go and pick up the tablet. And let's call up some more heat. There we go again. So let's take a look at these controls now. And I think the f recipe was left, right, left. Okay. Left. Yep, that looks pretty much like I was hoping it would. So let's um, walk over this. I need to be a little bit careful because you can actually uh, fall off when you're using free roam mode. In which case you get stuck in the water until the steam goes away. You can only get back on land on that side, not on this side for some strange reason. Ah, and Christ, see, now it happened. I'm stuck! And I can't, I can't get on back onto this. I consider this to be a glitch. This just shouldn't be possible. Um, now I'm completely stuck. Nothing to do but wait until these blasted things go away and I can, can get back to this side. Oh man, I so hoped that that wouldn't happen while I was actually recording. But it did. Uh, okay. Steam gone. Plants gone. Can get back here. Okay, now I'm gonna run.
and gotta get the temp uh, the slate again. This isn't a problem if you use classic navigation because you cannot fall off using uh, classic navigation, but unfortunately you can using free mode, free roam, uh, free move, whatever they call it. Okay, once more. The fact that you can fall off and then walk through the water makes it even more ridiculous that you uh, have to walk across this stuff to get to the other side. Because what exactly is the problem if you can just walk through the water? Why can I not get on land on that side? Okay, let's do this without falling off this time. Yes, that's better. And it's our good friend Escher again. He's already beginning to annoy me. It's only the first age. These are the tombs. And as they died here, so did all of Dukhmi. Guilty here. But my Dukhmi is innocent. I beg to differ. May we rebuild structures. Not leave tombs. Make them bring you to the keep, for it will run from you. Dani, or Dani, sorry, I'm switching to Isha's pronunciation there. Dani in innocent? I don't think so. From all we've seen in Uru, all the evidence of the decadence of the Dunny, and of course their enslavement of the Baro, I don't think that the Dunny are one bit as innocent as Asher claims. Apparently, prisoners thought it wise to waste materials on building tombs in their own prison. Okay, whatever floats your boat. Looks like part of the tomb has fallen down here. So maybe you can get in from the top. Again, this stupid fog glitch. Anyway, another pedestal here with another symbol, which means that, of course, we can bring the slate here that way. It's convenient, means we don't need to bring back the heat to get across here. And there is... Another bubble, and I think that's the one we saw in Kavir, with the, the tablet in it. So let's check it out. Uh, okay. Well, as Escher said, the uh, keep, as he called it, uh, runs from us. Can't get there. Look, you can see the window in Kavir behind the, uh, the bubble. We can't get there. Hmm. Well, uh, there's another symbol there. That probably uh, might, probably will be of help. And that unfortunately means that we need the uh, slate here. So let's remember this uh, symbol. And repeat our trick. So that would be a circle with three lines coming out of it. Sort of like that. I hope that's good enough. Game can be quite picky about what symbols it understands. But it seems I got it right. Okay. Got the slate here. I didn't really need to do that. I mean, I could have just remembered that symbol. 
but it's maybe a bit easier to draw it from here. Uh, this puzzle can be a real bitch if you uh, have a bad monitor or we're using low resolution or something, because this symbol can be very hard to make out. And there's no way, as far as I know, to get a better look at it. Um, but I'm gonna draw it in the next video.